Good morning. Well, we are going to feed our sourdough starter, and that's day nine, I believe. And yesterday, May 2nd, I baked quite a bit here. So the heat has helped a little bit. So around four, I noticed that it was past the two cups mark, the starter they start the starter and by 7 p.m. it was past 2.25 cups so it didn't get to two and a half by the time I check it so we are going to check it and then we are going to fill it with one cup we are going to take one uh, we are going to take a half cup of the sado starter Add one cup of bleach flour and a half cup of filtered water. And what I mean by filtered water, I'm just going to take water from my fridge filter to make sure there is no bleach in the water. So let's get started. And I'm going to show you where we have it. And I'm working on Sado pizza dough here, which pretty soon I'm going to put in the pan for the second rise, and I might probably make sado bread for evening dinner. And as you can see, it rose all the way to here. You can see the mark. It's not this one on top here. But you can see that it was all across it. Now let's see what we have our cup. Measurement. Maybe that's this one here. Now let's bring it closer. And that's the cup size, so that's three cup there for 24 ounces. And that's two and a half. And that's two here, so it's on the two cups mark, but it went up to somewhere here between two and two and a half. So it's rising just slowly. So now let's check inside of it. You can see that is is bubbling inside. So yeah, we are just going to keep feeling it. But the heat in the kitchen has helped. At one point, my house yesterday was 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Since we have not turned off the heat yet, and baking in the house has <laughs> sorry about that. So contributed to the heat in the house. So I think that helped it rise. That's my guess. But well, now let's get things together. I'm just going to move it to this side. And we can still test it. We can test the... Yeah, it smells flour. Yeah, it's, I can smell the flour in it. Well, this one, my starter itself, and that is bubbling as well. And we can have them side by side as well. So you can see this jar, and I will bring this one. 
so you can see that both have the same this one is not that as much bubbly as this one this one seems more bubbly to me than this one so I'm going to yeah it smells fermented alcohol you can get fruity scent to it as well so yeah I'm just going to put it down when I'm moving it to the side you can see the way it is and this one pretty much is doing the same thing right like the way it's moving away from the jar and that's the one we are going to feel this one is the already ready to use so i'm just going to move our side here So pretty much what we will do first will be to put water in fact yeah let's two cups of this one that make it one cup so one cup of flour, I'm going to use two of this. And that's just bleached flour. going to add half cups of water half cup of water I want the water to go at the bottom And we are going to stir this one and add half cups of it. And the remaining will just toss it in the trash.
sent to Western Virginia. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to stir it well to make sure I have the flour, water, and stir it all mixed together. I'm done mixing, I'll just screw the edges in a little bit. And with my clean hand, I can take this one off of the spoon. Let me wash my hand. We can look at our jar. That's our cup here. And that's one, half, one. One and half, but it's more, if you look, it's more between one and one and half. It's between one and one and half. So about 125 all our crafts so but once everything settle I'll have a better measurement but it shouldn't be past one and a half cup and we will see how far it will go but at this point I could see that it is one and a half and I will see how long it's going to take today to rise and how far it's going to go so that's pretty much it I'm going to put the towel on it and put it by the stove I start working on putting pizza dough in the pan for the second rice Thank you for watching. I'm Afiavi Ujune, Libreman, creators of Libreman Consulting LLC YouTube channel and owners of Nina Soap. And our website is ninasoap.com.